Hi, the purpose of this tutorial is to walk you through the student submission process in Google Classroom, as well as the teacher grading process and returning to the student. Um, so we're gonna start here with the student view of Google Classroom. Um, the student's name here is Robert Steele. He is a historical figure from the town of Westwood. And here is his um, vocab chart assignment. This assignment was due on November 8th, and he is currently late with that assignment. So you can see the designation is missing. He's ready to complete it, so he's going to go ahead and open up the document that has his name on it and complete that assignment. Once he completes the assignment, um, all he needs to do for submission is to utilize the turn in function in the upper right hand corner. Once he does that, then his assignment is no longer editable. It's a, it becomes a view only document. So no changes are able to be made at this point. In order to make any changes, he would have to go back to the assignment and unsubmit it. So now that he has completed that assignment, his status with the assignment has changed from missing to turned in late. And now on his teacher's end, um, a new student has turned in that assignment. And so I'm going to go ahead and grade that assignment. And once I start grading, I can leave behind comments. And the student um, will not be able to see those comments. So I'm going to open up his view only document again. You can see that I'm on the document, which means he's able, while you're grading, in real time, your students are able to literally see you on their document grading. But notice that there are no comments there for the student to view, even though there is on the teacher end a comment that has been left behind. Now, the difference here is if you were to leave comments within the body of the document, so say you've embedded a rubric, that student is able to see you grade and leave behind feedback So it's just something to be mindful of that while students are unable to view your comments, they are able to view anything that you leave directly on the document, um, especially if this comes with a, um, a rubric where you leave behind a grade on the document. So um, you may not have returned your assignments, you may not have made the grade public in Aspen yet, but they are able to access information in the view only setting. If this bothers you, um, there's a few workarounds that we can talk about, um, or you can also make sure not to leave the grade on the document, but rather in a comment. So now as the teacher, I'm done grading. I'm going to go back to the teacher account. And I can either decide to return that document here or select the next student to grade. Once I'm ready to return that document, I'm going to go ahead and click to return for the students that I want to return. I can return them all at the same time or just one at a time. I'll hit return. I can leave behind a, a private comment. And on the teacher view, now no students have turned it in, two are still missing the assignment, and seven have been returned. I'm going to go back to the student's account. 
and I will go back to his main account, his classwork view, and the vocab chart you can see now on the student end, it, it says returned. Um, the icon is no longer dark gray, but light gray. If I view the assignment, I can access that private comment and also access the assignment again, which would include any comments that I'd left behind as his teacher. So I hope you find this helpful. And um, at any time you want to talk more about how this process works and play with any kind of settings or talk through any concerns or ideas, I'm available to meet at any point. Thanks for watching.